Now, many of you, you will know that when it comes to the new energy vehicle penetration, China, it is the leader, the, the global leader, where we are seeing the new energy vehicle market penetrating uh, the country. I mean, China, it is selling millions and millions of units of new energy vehicle cars on a, a yearly basis. And uh, we are seeing them dominating or uh, having a market share of over 50 percent globally which is something that shows you that china it is the country that is succeeding when it comes to new energy vehicle market now with that you know that europe us canada they've been imposing tariffs onto the chinese ev makers to try to stop them from penetrating their market right i mean what they want them to do is to build factories into their countries so that they can easily sell their cars into those countries two weeks ago china came out and said that even if that happens china must make sure that they don't take all the technology with them to various countries outside of china but rather they should assemble some parts in in china then ship them over to where they are producing their cars so we are yet to see because eu commission also came out and said that they will also have to assess how this thing is being done right now today things just got worse in the u.s guess what the u.s is doing right now it's saying they are saying that softwares hardwares that are coming from chinese cars or that are on the chinese cars in the u.s are going to be banned from the year 2027 now this just got worse hold on now it's no longer about the tariffs but it all it is also about the softwares and hardware components that are in these cars so this just means that once again the u.s it's making it extremely difficult for chinese cars to penetrate the u.s they want to keep the u.s market to themselves which is something that is not good at all i mean why is this only applying to to chinese cars why not uh, european cars german cars why not uh, other countries cars coming from other countries it, it is just for chinese cars this shows you of how massive these tensions are between the uh, china and the u.s and uh, what they are also trying to do is to slow down the pace. I think ultimately that's what they want to do. But one thing that we are seeing in China is that the market there, it's, it's growing so big, so massive, and companies are flourishing there in a way that some of the companies like our very own NEO, for now, we don't really need countries outside of China, just to be honest, because they are only accounting for like, 3% of total sales that NEO generates, right? In the future, yes, we will need those countries, but as it stands, they are not even contributing that much in terms of the cars that NEO is selling on a month to month, in terms of the revenues that NEO is generating on, on a quarter to quarter, which therefore, though they might be doing this right now, as long as these companies are still doing well in their home ground, uh, I think the impact might not be that much but in the long term i think we will definitely feel the heat and we will need to find ways to penetrate those countries i mean companies like neo they are already coming with other brands or sub brands to try to penetrate the market or markets outside of china which is something that is just so incredible because those sub brands are cheaper and therefore it might be simpler or easier for them to sell more units with their sub brands i mean yes i know that there are countries like norway uae that are not taking part of this tariff increase and those are the countries that we are going to make country uh, companies like neo flourish right but for the other countries neo will need to build a factory it just boils down to that they need to build a factory uh, in the US, they need to build a factory uh, uh, in Europe, Th then they will be able to easily sell and waive some of the tariffs which are being imposed to them. So yeah, it is a long walk to freedom, but I think at the end of the day, we will get a factory in Europe. I don't know about the US, we might also get a factory there, but then the US is becoming more, much harder because this 
news of uh, America wanting to stop the hardware and software from Chinese companies uh, or to ban them in America, it is something that is not good. I mean, uh, software ban will go into effect for model uh, year 2027. So for any model from 2027, this, uh, of course, uh, software ban will be applicable. Then the hardware ban will take effect on the model year 2030 or from the 1st of Jan 2029. This is something that shows you where US is going with all this. And I must say, the reason why or part of the reason they are doing this is because they are seeing, they feel the heat. They are scared of China. Let's just put it like that. They are scared of Chinese EV cars. They are scared of Chinese technologies. I mean, companies, or one of the things that we are seeing from EV companies from uh, the U.S., technology-wise, they can't compete with Chinese EVs. They are still lagging. They are still behind, which is for this reason they are scared that if China comes and floods the, the U.S. market, then all those local companies won't even, won't even be able to compete and therefore they won't generate much sales. It is for this reason they are doing whatever they can to prevent or to stop the Chinese EV companies to come into, into the U.S. So, yeah, these are the latest news. These are the latest stories. Tell me what you think about this. I think it's not good. And once again, we are seeing the U.S. wanting to, to, to close off China from penetrating the U.S. because uh, maybe they are seeing that some of the Chinese companies uh, have started partnering with local maybe partners planning on to building factories. Now they see that if factories are built, then they just have to come with, uh, with something else, which hardware software is one of the things because it's one of those things that which they came up with for now, which I tell you, even if these Chinese companies are to comply maybe and use the hardware softwares, some of the hardwares and softwares from the US, they will always find something, I tell you, because they just don't want to say, we don't want you, but they're just putting restrictions to restrict these countries, I mean, these companies or Chinese EVs to penetrate the US. Otherwise, with all that, I just thought I'd just give you this quick update. These are just my opinions. You need to do your own due diligence before you invest by uh, companies like uh, NEO because share price wise we know they are quite volatile and therefore you for you not to panic sell you need to do uh, your due, own due diligence or at least you are comfortable as you are investing onto these companies otherwise that's all from me I wish nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and God bless you all